this is a pretty big deal i'm sitting in that chair waiting for natalie to show up so that i can propose to her yes it seems like we've all been waiting for this to happen and sure these proposals are always nice but first let's take a look at how we got to this point all right so here's the plan natalie's going to arrive to work totally unsuspecting of anything total normal day she's going to get to her desk and on her desk is going to be a vase one rose and a card i hope she starts with card first that's kind of how this goes so the card uh it's a, like a generic love card whatever and in it is i wrote something that's along the lines of we're gonna do a rose hunt today and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be a lot of fun for you <laughs> and uh good luck 12 roses clues that go along with them and they're all numbered we start with two so the first rose the one right in front of her on her desk after she reads the card introducing everything uh, that one says two of 12 and it points to the two and it says you missed the one in the car so here's the part where i gotta make sure that i get to the car right after she exits the car to put the other roses in it otherwise this is going to be tricky so hopefully she's like what is he talking about maybe he has one in the back seat or something so hopefully she goes to the car uh and then she gets the one in the front seat that's gonna say one of 12 good job now look behind you and then she'll get the one in the back seat that will say three of 12 because we already got the two uh and that one's gonna say they're not all gonna be this easy yeah so oh i think i wrote i think i'm gonna do something i gotta i gotta edit this i, I gotta add like uh get back to work or something because i need her to go back to her desk all right, so this is where things get a little tricky because I hope that's how that goes. Uh, so hopefully she goes back to her desk and, and she's probably thinking, oh, uh, I, I don't know. Well, I'm also the first three I wrote on like really crappy paper as if I put no effort into this whatsoever. So I'm thinking she's totally thinking, ah, Tim, nice way to put no effort into this. That's what I'm hoping. Loaded, <laughs> little does she know. So she gets back to her desk and she's gonna probably go about her regular day thinking that this is just like, you know, Tim's trying to be nice or whatever, you know, don't get used to it. And she opens up her desk drawer and she finds another rose. And it's gonna say, seriously, did you check the car? Dot, 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 your other car. Cause she has a work car. So, oh yeah, it's another thing. I gotta plant one in there can't forget to do that that would be bad but I, I'll do it so now I hope she realizes and thinks that to go to that car and not not whatever she'll do she, that's what she's gonna do so it's it's gonna be okay after that she gets the one in the work car it says all right all right that's it for the office go ask Mike if you go home now and I hope she does that because the rest is at home and otherwise I'm going to be waiting for a really long time. Now, during while all this is like, you know, these first five roses, while this is all happening, uh, I have to get back to the house and set up the rest of them, which is again going to be a little tricky, but it's going to be okay. It's, I think it's going to be okay. It should be okay. All right, it's gonna be okay. It's, it's totally gonna work. She's gonna be like, Mike, who's her boss, can I go home? And Mike's totally in on this, and he's gonna be like, yeah, do it. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. So she's gonna go home, and she's gonna be like, oh, there's a hanging rose in the middle of the uh, walkway. This wasn't here before. That's weird, let me read what this says. And it says, this is the last easy one. They only get harder from here. If I were you, I would grab a shot and a beer. You have plenty of time, and yes, the rest will rhyme. Because, un unfortunately, the rest, they, they rhyme. I, I just started doing that, and I didn't stop. Sorry. So, <clears throat> shot in a beer, that's the clue. Um, uh, good old family uh, recipe. And uh, in the fridge, where we keep the beer, is another rose that's going to say, you found the alcohol, the fruits, and the berries. 
Now go pretend you're the Tooth Fairy. <clears throat> tooth Fairy. So, Tooth Fairy, again, I, a little abstract, but maybe she'll go to like the bedroom underneath the pillow, right? Tooth Fairy? I don't know, it rhymed with berries. So she goes to the bedroom. <clears throat> she's gonna she's gonna see a rose under the pillow that I leave half hanging out underneath the pillow and uh, and this one says uh, uh, The next one is special to my heart. She's been with us from the start like a spider with a well-spun web I Trapped you ever since you babysat Deb She thinks of you as a mother and there will never be another Right come on that was nice. That's got to be like a clue for I, I said it it's Deb it's, got to go to Deb's room. So she goes to Deb's room. Right? We think. Uh, so then she gets to one of the Deb's room and she, it's going to go... Uh, now that we've got the tearjerker out of the way, go outside to our favorite place to stay. You will find no ill will there, only a place to chill and stare. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. So uh, that one is our outside like patio area where we have these two chairs that we just go out there and chill and drink when, when we actually have time to, to chill and drink. So I hope she figures that one out. Uh, now we're outside. Uh, you've been such a good sport. Next spot is a carport. If that's too much of a mirage, just go to the damn garage. Inside our oh-so-lovely garage is another one uh, It says, It's true, I'm native to New York. I may not be as creative as a dork, but I have the power to tell you of the last flower. Grab the beach chair. You will have to meet me there. You know I hate waiting, so don't hesitate. Grab your things, get in the car, and onto the interstate. Now drive to the ocean, there will be more to be put in motion. Alright, it's 6.32. The office is all set up, and now I'm just waiting for Natalie to get to the office so that I could run and put two roses in the car. And then I gotta race home and get all the other stuff set up. So in the meantime, keep an eye out for her car, the black Honda. Uh, we're waiting for that to show up without her noticing that I'm waiting for her to show up. Because she thinks I just went to work, right? Right? She doesn't think. She doesn't know any better. And, uh, and then we gotta do our stuff. Did you see her? No? Keep looking. I think this one's her. This one's her. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. Okay, so I just did the mad dash at to the house and set everything up. Um, I think. I, I think. Uh, and now I'm um, off to the beach. I gotta set up that, and then uh, and then we wait. Okay, I think everything's going as planned. Um, I was a little little nervous about uh, whether or not she she gets it. Uh, definitely have no idea what type of uh, mindset she's in because I'm not sure if she's like excited and happy or like annoyed or like confused. Uh, I got one text from her and I was thinking it was going to be like, oh, thanks, nice card or something like that. But it was, did you talk to him? <laughs> so I think she's referring to, to her boss, Mike. And I replied, yes. So it's kind of straightforward. Uh, 
again, smiley face would have been nice. Anything indicating that that things are going good. But, you know, oh, I love this part. Anyways, uh, today's the 22nd, which is convenient because um, it's, it's uh, the day of our, like, anniversary, you know, dating anniversary, I guess, you know, and, um, and that day was not nearly as planned out or well thought out as, as today. In fact, it went, it went a little, it went a little like this, like, we, we were, you know, going on dates and stuff, we would go out, like, to eat, go to the movies, uh, go snowboarding and, and whatever, and, um, we got back from snowboarding one day and we were going to grab a slice of pizza and I turned to like lock my car door and I turn, I look at Natalie and she's like maybe like like 10 feet ahead and I look at the car door, I look at Natalie and she looks at me I'm like, so does this mean we're dating? <laughs> she's like, I don't know, are you asking me out? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, will you go out with me? She's like, yeah, I guess. And and that was that was how we uh, officially started dating. And, you know, then you could put it on Facebook and stuff. So that's when you officially start dating. But that was on the twenty second of February. Uh, so not like it's the same day, but it was close. And uh, you know, so I thought that was a coincidence. All right, this is it. Um, beach is all set up. We're we're here. We're at the ocean, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Ready to do the last card. Um, I'll show you the setup. So this is the setup. Hopefully, uh, I'm chilling here with the camera rolling, and uh, camera one is going to be up here. Camera two is going to be the iPad, and then we hopefully get a proposal here, and then if everything goes well. We have the Champagne over here, and, and then we chill and enjoy the beach. Oh yeah, and then I booked a massage for us too, because I need one. Test video one. Test video two. So you ready for the last one? Yes. All right. I'll read this one for you. It says, it's funny how our lives have come to be. Natalie, I would be honored if you would marry me. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Okay. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's so perfect! So... <laughs> oh, let's celebrate with champagne! <laughs> okay. Come here, take a look at this. So, she said yes, which is awesome. And we're having our champagne toast. 